Hi, it's Paul from Rudy's Home of Music in Blackburn here, and we're very lucky to have the new 700 uh, CLP 700 series, a sneak peek uh, from Yamaha. Uh, the one that we're going to look at this morning is CLP 735, um, a fantastic all new piano, uh, and the whole 700 ranges, everything's brand new in it. You even got a brand new uh, case design, which looks very, very elegant and very, very nice, uh, very much like an acoustic piano design. Um, one of the main features on this piano, uh, one of the great improvements, is the new uh, GTS, the Grand Touch S Action, which replicates the, it's the nearest thing to a grand piano at this price range that you can get in the world. Um, the actual keys are slightly smaller than when you go on to the, uh, uh, bigger models, the 785s, the CLPs up there, but honestly, beautiful, beautiful action. And another thing that they've done alongside this action is because it's a grand piano action, they've improved all the samples of the CFX, Yamaha and the Bosendorf, so the 100,000 plus pianos. So basically you've got a sample of a 100,000 plus piano here. You've also got, they've also included in this the a thing called binaural. And that means that they've, when you put your headphones on, you get this sp spatial sound of the piano exactly like you would be sitting at it at home if you were sitting in front of a nine foot grand piano, which is unbelievable to hear. Another great feature is uh, uh, an improvement on the VRM, virtual residence modeling. Um, Difficult to understand, but when you've got it, uh, you understand when you play it. So basically what that means is, when you've got a grand piano and you've got all the strings um, uh, in the actual piano, they resonate with one note. So if you play one note like that on a, a grand piano, all the strings, all the dampers, all the mechanism in that grand piano create that sound. In the old 1985 uh, 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 clavinovas and uh, pianos that were out then, they had a beautiful sound, but it didn't include the collection of the strings. And there's a thing called the aliquot system, and that's an extra, extra string over the three strings on the grand piano. And that used to resonate. Now they've got it here. Um, it's called VRM. Another thing that uh, is really interesting that they've put a thing called the Forte piano in, which basically replicates older pianos so that if you love Mozart and you love Chopin and you want to hear what that sound was like they have actually gone to the pianos in Europe and sampled Mozart and Chopin pianos and so you get that sound which is incredible because if you want to know what it sounds like this is exactly what it would sound like uh, to those master pl piano players. <music>
also, which is also great about this, I mean, they've done all the different pianos from the ages and stuff like that, but they've also given us EQ. So we can actually change the actual sound that they've spent all that time sampling. And if we think that we want a little bit more treble or we want a less bass or whatever, we can do that in here as well. Another fantastic feature is in the older models, they had uh, rhythms, which was great to do because you can play along with the rhythms. But it's great to have a very simple bass. They've added that. It's not like a chord bass. It, what it does, it looks at all the actual notes that you're playing and it works out that you're in the key of C or E minor or whatever uh, key you are in. I'll, I'll show you. So. a bass line. I've just got the C there. So if I wanted to use two fingers, so you've got everything that you need there you could see how simple that was and yet it enhances everything you play so even with two fingers you were getting quite a big sort of ensemble feel because when the bass uh, goes in that you would never uh, normally uh, be able to work out it's working it out for you it's fantastic another great thing that's fantastic about this piano is the fact that you can do layering you can do 16 track recording you can do piano strings bass line you've got rhythms you've got lot you can have a whole musical experience in one piano if you know what I mean so I'm going to record something and just show you what you can do very very simply um, so I'm going to put a, a rhythm on it That's the rhythm. It's given me a bass line. I've done some very, very simple piano chords, and now I can play my tune over the top. So you can use that. You can use, I mean, a lot of people cheat by using other people's chords and then do your own song on the top. So I'll just uh, show you how that works. I'm going to save it, and hopefully, it will play that back. So that's just me playing over some very simple chords. Uh, you can do 16 tracks if you want. You can put strings on then. You can put a, another bass line if you want. There's lots and lots of sounds in that. You've got two great pianos, two of the best pianos in the world sampled in this, in this uh, piano. Um, but what you can do is you can add another sound, which is like a classic thing that a lot of piano players do. So on this one, I'm going to add a strings to the actual piano. So you'll hear the piano, it's a soft string coming after I've played the piano. So this is how this sounds. So that is the CFX Yamaha and strings, uh, amazing. Another thing that you can do is you can actually split the sounds between the keyboards. So you can have piano up here and bass here. So I could have strings down here. I could have anything I wanted if I, if I wanted uh, if I wanted to uh, play any sound down here. I could. So my favourite bit about this piano: they do a bass with a cymbal. Uh, there's no rhythms, you can put the rhythms in if you want, but you play it just like a jazz bass and, and cymbal, and this is it. I've 
split the keyboard. So up here is a piano. So, two together. Fantastic, isn't it? That now add a, add a rhythm to that, and you're off. You've got your own band. <laughs> okay, we've just gone through all the fantastic features uh, that uh, that we can see on this new 700 series. This is particular one is the 735. Um, it has two 30 watt speakers as well. It's got 38 sounds and 20 uh, rhythms, and comes in six colours which is great. And of course, all those colors, if you click the link below, you can see and compare. If you want to buy one of these Clavinovas um, uh, that start from the CLP 735, um, there are links below uh, this video to show you all the different specs. We've also got a link to a comparison video. So we're gonna go around and give you a comparison between all the different uh, pianos and see what you get for your money.